My name is Bill Nagling, and the reason I'm, I'm making a video for the electricians out there so you guys know how to how to handle these ICF walls. Um, we're getting a lot of requests um, from from the electricians and the drywall guys. You know what's the best way to do um, electrical outlets on the ICF wall. So let's just pretend that you walk in and this is what you see. Forget all this because this is on my garage wall. My wife doesn't know about this yet. But anyway, so but just pretend this is what you walk into. There's no, there's none of these black marks on the wall. I'll get to those in a minute. First thing you need to find out is you need to find out what block system you're working with. Because one of the things that we do in ICF walls is you've got to determine where these furring strips are located. And a furring strip looks something like this. So that little that little line of stamps is basically this behind the foam. It's about three quarters of a half inch to three quarters of an inch back. You're going to see something like that. You're not going to see this, but you're going to see a stamp where it's at. Most of them are either eight inches on center, or they're six inches on center, or some combination thereof. 